This is 10 Eyewitness News. First at five with Natasha Belling. Good evening. First tonight, the Prime Minister's battle to keep the focus on his election promises and not on the raiding of Labor officers over NBN leaks. Malcolm Turnbull says it was appropriate his communications minister didn't alert him to the possible police investigation. But the opposition leader says that's inconceivable and there are more questions to be answered. Our reporter Catalina Flores is on the campaign trail in Sydney. And Catalina, it's certainly the story that just won't go away. That's right, Natasha. For the second day in a row, the Prime Minister has been thrown off message by these raids and it's not ideal for Labor not to be speaking about its core messages of health and education, but it has used the saga to spark a broader debate about political interference and government secrecy. On a market stroll on the New South Wales central coast, the Prime Minister is met with supporters... Just uh, take it for the Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. ..and critics. Uh, I don't believe everything politicians say. I'm telling you the truth. In Sydney, Bill Shorten was among friends for a Labor volunteer rally. But both leaders failed to stay on message today with this week's unprecedented police raids on Labor officers casting a shadow on the campaign. There's clearly more going on here than meets the eye. But I can tell you, my government stands with the police. The office of Senator Stephen Conroy and two Labor staffers were raided by the federal police as they investigated damaging leaks, revealing delays and cost blowouts with the national broadband network. The communications minister has now revealed he was advised by NBN that the matter had been referred to the AFP, but denies instructing or requesting them to do so, and explains as the investigation was underway, he didn't advise other ministers or the Prime Minister of the matter. Bill Shorten says he finds that inconceivable. And that they wouldn't tell the Prime Minister or his staff? It's either gross incompetence or indeed it's far worse and we're not being told the truth. I think it's entirely appropriate. It, uh, it, it's a... Uh that's a matter of judgment for him. Labor again laying the blame at the feet of the Liberal leader. Who benefits by the suppression of these documents, Mr Turnbull? Who benefits from not having a debate in the public about the incompetent management of NBN, the cost and the delays? Mr Turnbull. This is all about protecting Mr Turnbull's reputation. Now what Mr Shorten is seeking to do is to suggest that the Australian Federal Police have acted other than with integrity or other than independently. And he, he should be ashamed of doing so. And Bill Shorten went further, using the negative NBN reports to reflect on his opponent. And if he can do that to the NBN, imagine what he'll do over the next three years if he's in charge of the whole country. So we are proud of what we've done with the NBN. We inherited an utterly failed project. Francis, at least, is a happy customer. Oh, we're really happy with the NBN. It's great. But the country will deliver the ultimate verdict on July 2. Now, Natasha, both leaders are now in Sydney at the end of week two of the campaign and both camps will remain in New South Wales tomorrow morning. Malcolm Turnbull will want to get his message back on the economy and Bill Shorten on health. Catalina, thank you.